Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you my two favorite features of Formative for creating formative assessments online. Let's go ahead and take a look at this tool. It's formative.com. I've been using it for years. And here I am in my dashboard, and I'm going to create a new formative activity for my students. Let's just call this one sample activity number 90. Now, let's go ahead and add to this a question type. And one of my favorite features of Formative is in the question type, show your work. Let's click on that option and let's do something like this and say our prompt will be draw a picture of what you had for lunch and let's give that 10 points you can leave it ungraded if you wanted to you can make it worth 100 points it doesn't really matter point is that you can give it points or not give it points now my second favorite feature is the option to enhance a document but you can also enhance an image Let's click on Enhance a Document. And in this case here, I'm going to upload a picture that I have on my desktop. And the picture that I have in this case that I want to use is this bird chart. And there it is, there's the bird chart. And I'm going to add that image in there. And then I can click on it to add questions directly on top of it. Maybe I'll click here and say, I want to add a multiple choice question. And my multiple choice question is going to be, what color is the bird in the center of the chart? And we'll put in a couple answer choices here, red, blue or green and we'll delete option number D and let's give that 10 points so that's gonna be a 10 point question and now I'm going to make sure that question is right there on top of question or the image of <laughs> of that bird now I can also do this and add a document that I can pull from my Google Drive or upload from my desktop. And I have here this PDF that I want to use. And this PDF, I'll then be able to add questions directly on top of the PDF itself. So all six pages I'm going to import. And then again, I can add a question directly on top of this by clicking and adding, let's say a multiple choice question or a short answer question right here. And say, why can't you just use any image you find on the web in your projects for class? And let's make that a 10 point question. Now, let's preview this. And we'll preview it as a student who's going to use this on a desktop computer. They're going to see, draw a picture of what you had for lunch. And they're going to click that show your work and they get to draw their answer. Perhaps they're going to draw here. This is my hamburger. And there's different color pens they can use here. I'm going to use a scribble. And let's go ahead and swap out that color. Maybe I'll make that line a little thicker as well. And that's going to be my hamburger that has some mustard on top of it. And let's switch it back. And I'll draw the top of that hamburger bun. Very bad drawing, but you get the idea. So that's really neat. And then down here, we can see the student can answer that question. And down here, they can zoom in if they need to, to read the text. And let's say, 
because you have to respect copyright. And then they can submit their answer if they're actually using this as a student and not in just the preview mode. Now, of course, you can assign it to a class or assign it to your guest students and hit that assign button. And they have just a little code there that they can use to access your activity. But my favorite features, as you saw there, the option to draw a picture or draw a diagram in response to a question, and the option to upload pictures and documents and add questions directly on top of them, like we saw right there. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.